Well, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you. Thank you to our hosts, to Ambassador Hopkins, to Ambassador Ford. So this is my first public event since I arrived in Sofia a little bit over a week ago. A whiskey fest. <laughs> so uh, some of you may know I, I grew up in a very small town in the United States called Minot, North Dakota. And in that town, my classmates and others would say, so what do you do as a diplomat? And I would say, well, I get to meet with officials, I get to work on policy, and they would just look at me a little bit bored. И когато приятели се или с ученици в училище ме питат какво трябва да правиш като дипломат, аз им казвам, срещу се специални лица, работим по развитие на политики, те изглеждат малко отречени. And then I say, but I also get to promote whiskey and beer and food and they light up and say, we know it's all about the fun. Светан казвам, но часто трябва да да промотирам уиски, бира, храна, трябва да разбират, че съм на тази работа за избавление. So it is a true pleasure to be here at the 2019 Whiskey Fest along with my colleagues. So I know that on the European continent there's a little bit of a debate on the spelling of whiskey. За мен е голямо удоволствие да съм тук с колегите ми на това събитие. Знам, че на европейския континент има известен дебат относно това как точно се пише думата виски. I'm not going to get involved in that debate. I'll let my colleagues debate. Нямам намерение да участвам в този дебат. Ще го оставя на колегите. In America, we don't care how you spell whiskey as long as you have an American label. <laughs> so you can spell it any way you like. Uh, I am very happy that American whiskey is so popular here in Bulgaria and that the exports are soaring and that's one of the things that you will see here at this festival. За мен е голяма радост да видя, че американското виски е толкова популярно в България и че износа се увеличава. Това е нещо, което ще видите и вие на този фестивал. So I thought I would just give a few fun facts uh, for those of you who don't know, but I'm assuming with all the whiskey enthusiasts you do know, uh, but in case you don't, the US Congress in 1964 declared bourbon an distinctive American product. So something that we as Americans are very proud uh, to call American bourbon. Искам да споделя с вас някои забавни факти, които предполагам като истински уиски ентусиасти знаете, но все пак през 1964 година Американския конгрес обявява уискито за типичен американски продукт. And we also have this unique type of whiskey called Tennessee whiskey made by famous Jack Daniels. And of course, the spicy rye whiskies, which are always brimming with character. So I hope that after tonight, you'll all become bourbon lovers. And I thought I'd give you some fun facts about what it means to be called a bourbon. Надявам се след тази вечер всички вие да сте любители на бърбан. А сега ще ви обясня какво точно означава бърбан. So, for a bourbon, one, it has to be from the US. Two, it must contain 51% corn. За да бъде наричано едно уиски бърбан, то трябва на първо място да произлиза от щатите. На второ място трябва да има поне 51% съдържание на царевица. Third, it must be aged in new oak charred barrels. And lastly, bourbon doesn't have any added flavorings or coloring or any other additives. Another interesting fact that you may not be aware of, but even 
scotch and Irish whiskeys that age in used bourbon oak barrels means that every time you have a sip of whiskey, you're all enjoying a drop of bourbon or Tennessee whiskey. O que interessa é que até Thierry Lasso, que os dois chupam o whisky, que é uma do que já não são dois de frio fora a minha mão do mas na verdade o gato fica até a peça em whisky, que é o que fica até e com a alfa americana sobre o whisky. So, there, now you're all experts in American whisky. Você está fixo que está experto com o gosto na americana sobre o whisky. So, again, whether you like your bourbon meat on the rocks, mixed in a cocktail, we hope you find some amazing choices here at this festival. And again, with all of you to toast the American pioneers of whiskey and all of our Bulgarian connoisseurs who have made this product so popular here. And I look forward to saying a zdravé to all of you.